Yeah, my uh, main uh, field's research. Uh, the field for which I'm best uh, known is uh, job analysis, and I'm actually uh, responsible for changing the name of the field from job analysis to uh, work analysis. And the idea behind it was that uh, jobs are not the fixed, uh, stable entities they used to be, and nowadays uh, jobs are evolving, are more dynamic. So years ago, in the 90s, we proposed a change, and uh, it has actually uh, been well received. And is now most of the uh, books on human resources management that you see nowadays, uh, the chapter that used to be called job analysis is now called uh, work analysis. Uh, I also have a stream of research on uh, organizational stress, mostly from a cross-cultural point of view, looking at the effects of uh, cultural differences on uh, work stress and how different work stressors and different work environments are differentially perceived by uh, people depending on their culture. Um, so, you know, my uh, research has been cited over uh, 5,400 times according to a Google Scholar. And I would say about half of my work is in job analysis and uh, human resource management. And the other half is uh, mostly on work stress and other areas within organizational behavior. Well, I've been uh, fortunate that uh, the work I did on, on job analysis has been uh, well received in the, uh, in the apply community in HR. And I actually uh, serve as uh, vice president for uh, development in the Great Miami Society for Human Resource Management, which is the local association of human resource uh, managers. I also have been uh, called to uh, work on quite a few uh, federal projects. I've been a special government employee with uh, the Social Security Administration, uh, looking at ways to use uh, job analysis data to determine uh, disability. Uh, individuals who have suffered accidents at work, whether or not they are disabled and receive <coughs> social security ben benefits in the US. Um, there's a system that uses job analysis data and I've been fortunate to work for the social security on that project for uh, three years. I also have been a three-time uh, panelist for the National Academy of Sciences on projects uh, related to uh, job analysis. What that means is that, uh, well, the National Academy of Sciences is an agency that depends, uh, uh, works for the U.S. Senate. And when the U.S. Senate finds an issue in which it needs scientific uh, advice, they call the National Academy of Sciences, who assembles a panel of scientists that are capable of advising the U.S. Senate on, on that particular scientific issue. And I serve on three of those panels. Uh, all of them related to job analysis and related to how uh, critical jobs are evolving and how the requirements of those jobs are changing. Uh, for example, I serve on a panel looking at how aviation safety inspectors, uh, how the job of an aviation safety inspector has changed and what are the new requirements. I also serve on a project dealing with what they call 21st uh, century skills. What are the skills that are most in need of development in the 21st century? And I also serve on, a, of an, on another panel that has evaluated uh, something that the Department of Labor calls uh, ONET, which is an occupational network. It's an online occupational network that gives you uh, basic information on every occupation that there is in the economy. So I served on a panel that evaluated the contents and the functioning of ONET uh, 10 years after it had been uh, launched. What uh, I have been doing here at uh, Carlos Tercero, well, I've been uh, collaborating with my colleagues here in uh, uh, the, the section of uh, um, uh, Organización de Empresas, right, um, on a project that deals with uh, my interest in job analysis. And the project looks at something that we call job reification, which means to what extent are we attributing to jobs uh, stable fixed qualities that we typically attribute to physical objects, and to what extent is that kind of attribution uh, detrimental or, or counterproductive to the way human resources are manage, managed in organizations nowadays. And it goes back to this idea that jobs are not as stable as they used to be, they're not as fixed, they're more dynamic and evolving and in constant change. 
and therefore the ways that we propose to use uh, jobs are different. Uh, we are uh, proposing in this project that I'm working with uh, my colleagues here at Carlos Tercero, we are proposing more person-centric types of work analysis where we actually focus on people's perceptions of their jobs, people's interpretations of their jobs, and how those interpretations affect the way they perform their job. 